hello and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well and i hope you've had a fantastic week okay um today's um video is all about um, an interview with a lady called dorin so dorin is um, a, a secondary school teacher in ghana and she has just recently applied for the QTS and was granted the QTS. So um, today's video is all about the interview um, where she'll be answering some of the questions as to how she got the QTS, how she applied, what are the requirements and all of the things that you need to have in order for you to be able to apply. Now, um, for some of you that don't know, there are two forms of QTS that you can apply for. So you can apply for the direct QTS and you can also apply for the uh, as QTS assessment, which we done in your country. So sit back and relax and enjoy. And please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment on this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave that in the description box below. And I will attend to that and as well as Doreen. So Doreen is also uh, on standby reading the comments and she'll be able to answer any questions that you have for her. All right, then. I hope you enjoy the interview. So please, can you just please tell us your name? Yeah, my name is Doreen Ousubinewa. Oh, good. Fantastic. You're welcome, Doreen. You're welcome to um, to my channel and you're welcome to the Dwelling Oak uh, channel and family. Thank you. Um, Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Um, so I just want to ask, um, can you tell us a bit more about yourself and about your teaching background? Yeah. Um, I'm a teacher, a professional teacher in Ghana. I mm. teach in the junior high school. Okay. So junior high school, so that's like secondary? Oh, the junior high school is like from year six. So it's from year seven, mm -hmm. year eight and year Okay, so so junior high is comprising in Ghana of um, year six, seven, eight, and no, nine. No, 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 not year six. Year six is okay. part of the primary school. So the primary school ends at okay. year six. Then the um, the junior high school will start from year seven to year nine. Then the senior oh. high school, that's the secondary school, will start mm. from year ten going. Yes. I see. I see. So you are teaching the junior high. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, I from teach year, year one. Seven. Yeah, year one. I teach junior high school only year one. But I take okay. all the classes. So we have year one A, year one B, year one C, year one D. And I teach almost all the class. I see. I see. So I see. So when you say year one, that means you're teaching year seven. So for UK, that's going to be year, year seven. Year seven. And for the Ghanaian um, curriculum, so do you get to teach everything or do you teach just one particular subject? Particular? Do you teach one particular subject? So, for instance, do you teach only maths or do you teach Yes, maths I teach English? only maths. My subject is mathematics. Oh, I see. I, I get it now. Okay, that's good. Well, yeah. fantastic. Um, so, you, you, you currently and recently applied for the QTS? Um, yes, please. In the UK. Okay, yes. fantastic. Well done. Um, and I hear you're successful. So before we go into the sure. successful part, congratulations, by the way. Um, and then before we go into the rest of it, I just want to find out what is the what is the process? So what did you have to do? What are the qualifications that you need and all of that? What can you just talk us through the process of application? All right. So for one to apply for the QTS, that is the qualified teacher status. Um, mm. You have to log on to the UK website, then mm -hmm. check your eligibility. So okay. in the eligibility period, they will ask you, do you teach one of the following subjects? Then you take mm -hmm. yes. If you know that you teach one of the following subjects, then you take yes. Mm -hmm. Then they will ask, do you teach children between the age of 11 to 16? Then you take mm. yes. If, if you know you fall under that, that the same. Then another mm -hmm. one is that, are you recognized as a teacher in your home country? Then you take yes. And are you from one of the following countries? You know, there are seven countries that are eligible to um, apply for this KOTS. So after mm -hmm. that, and you are eligible for all of this, then you are good to go. And mind you, unless you, do, mm -hmm. you, you did the subjects that are eligible for now, they said, May 2023, they will review 
the subject eligibility. So for now, mm -hmm. if you hold a qualification of Bachelor of Education in Mathematics, Bachelor mm -hmm. of Education in Science, the science that is biology, chemistry, and physics, then yeah. Bachelor of Education in Languages. The languages, mm -hmm. English is not part, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when and you we say... We are not going to teach a white... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carry on, carry on. I was saying that African, you are not going to teach a white man English. Do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> so English is not part. <laughs> yeah. English yeah, is not I, part. I, yeah. I yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So that um, which then, then leads me to to the next question is: So do you need to have uh, a teacher training qualification? Let's say, for example, example a PGC or a diploma in education, or are they just looking at only your BSc? Um, is that what is the what, what is that the qualifications do you need, and what did you put together? Yeah, me, my qualification is BA Mathematics. I went okay. to training, teacher training college in Ghana. For you to become a recognized teacher, that is a professional mm -hmm. teacher, you have to enroll in teacher training. That is College of Education. So after my completion of teacher training in 2020, 2015, I started mm -hmm. with my Bachelor of Education in 2017. That is two years after my teacher training. Then okay. I did my degree for only two years. I didn't even do mm -hmm. it through the regular studies. I did it through the sandwich. You, you go to school when school vacates. When you vacate. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes, that is called sandwich. So, that's how I did my degree course. And I did Bachelor of Education, which, um, Bachelor of Education in Mathematics, which the math is my major. And the I did physics. Then the physics is my minor. Okay, so the QCS, they are looking for Bachelor of Education in these subjects that I mentioned earlier. All right. Mm -hmm. But when yeah. you don't have a education, you have a degree, mm -hmm. all right, but it is not in education. That means mm -hmm. you will add another degree that is in education to support your bachelor degree. Do you get mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and there are people that didn't do Bachelor of Education, but they did mm -hmm. BSc, Bachelor of Science. So in that sense, mm -hmm. you have to get another degree that will qualify your teaching qualification. So you don't add mm -hmm. any degree, degree to qualify your teaching qualification, they will decline you. That is it. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple mm -hmm. of people that has been dec declined because of the mm -hmm. BSc. They didn't add. Mm. They didn't add the um, PGDC or the education to it. Okay. So that is it. So if somebody, okay. So if someone has a BSc, let's say in mathematics, that's not mm -hmm. going to be enough. So they will still sure. want you to do a degree in mathematics as well. They will still want you to do an education course to support your document because you see you are going to teach kids. And teaching, mm -hmm. even in your home country, if you don't, if you don't do education, you are not a professional teacher. Do you get mm -hmm. it? So, so mm -hmm. you want to teach children, and you don't have education background, educational background, mm -hmm. then it doesn't qualify you to be a teacher. That is it. I see. I see. I see. So, but then, so for the for the the education qualification, you, it has to be a major in one of those topics, one of those subjects. So, for instance, maths. Or, or languages, Science. or so it has to be a major in those subjects, in those subjects rather yes, than yes. Um, rather than a B, B ed in music, and then you are applying sure, for sure. to become a math teacher. I see. Okay, okay. Good qualification of B ed economics. You 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 know um, on the UK website they stated that if you didn't do B ed mathematics, but your your qualification your bachelor's degree it is 50 percent mm -hmm. mathematics you can apply as a mathematics teacher so mm -hmm. some of these people applied using mm -hmm. BA economics BA mm -hmm. statistics and the rest they they mm -hmm. were all declined because CRA said after checking their qualification their transcripts it is not 50 percent mm -hmm. up to mathematics 
Mm. Mm. Yeah. That, that is interesting. So somebody who did engineering who has to do a lot of math, so does that mean they're not going to qualify as well? No, 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 no. Wow. Wow. That's, that, that is very interesting. <laughs> and, um, and I mean, so, I mean, for, for some people who don't know, this is just for the general um, public and the channel. So there are two types of QTS you can get, isn't it? So there's the, the fast track QTS, which is the one which is the one you applied for, which is the one you did. And there is the QTS um, via assessment route only. So the one you did is the fast track one where if you meet all of the requirements, then you can sure. then apply and get your QTS in your country without all of the necessary assessments and all of that. And on the other hand, if you want to do the QTS assessment only, then that's when you need to apply and then they will come and observe you teach and all of that. So basically, Doreen did the, um, the QTS fast track. That's what she, she did and that's what she uh, was she, she got in, in the end. Now, Doreen, did you have to pay for, for this? No, QTS is free. You don't pay mm. anything. You don't pay. The, the, that is the, 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 the other side of it. That's I love it because you mm. pay nothing for it. But I know, I know normally for you to apply for QTS in England, you will pay something. Mm. But for this one, you are not paying a CD or a Naira. You are not paying mm. anything. The, the only thing that you have to do is to get all your documents ready. Me, when mm -hmm. I heard this initiative from UK website, I heard it around last year, December. Then I started gathering all my documents, started all gathering documents together because mm. I knew that definitely I will ap apply it. So mm. when it was on the 26th January, UK was the website. You know, initially they said all teachers can apply. Mm. So they, when they updated the website, then they add our signs and their languages, right? Mm. So then I was having all my documents. I even did for a um, statement of comparability to check what my bachelor's degree is the, of the same standard as the UK's bachelor's degree, which is in level six. Yes. Mm. I mean, could you just tell us what documents did you put together to, to help you? Yes. Apply? You mentioned two things. You mentioned that you gathered your documents and then you did the statement of comparability. We're going to come to that sure. one in a second. But I wanted to just tell us what documents did you have to put together uh, to enable you to apply? Okay. okay, so these documents are your bachelor's degree and the transcripts. Then your medium of instruction. You know, they provided two options for this side. It's either you write IELTS to get a band of 5.5 or you you go to your university where you pursue your bachelor's degree for letter of proficiency yes mm. that mm. is the second requirement then the third requirement is either your passport or your birth certificates then mm. the fourth one is i think the fourth one is your references okay your references your emails so in ghana these are our requirements i don't know if i forget yeah Okay, that's that's not a lot. So when you mean the statement of um, so your the the one that you got from your school, which is that your profe proficiency, right? So if you write, yes. you, you can either write IELTS or you get the statement of proficiency from your um, university. So is it like a letter saying, okay, this person was taught in English, or is it is it is it something more than letter, that? What they will state it? that. Yes, in the letter they will state that you pursued your course in English and you understand english you can you can write in english yes and you can express yourself in english so basically they are telling the cra that you are you are qualified to to teach sorry you are qualified in the letter of, in um, medium of instruction the one that mm. they want yeah I see. And who did you get this from? Is that from your who? I mean, who, who is it? The letter headed um, pay, um, letter from the school was it signed by the vice chancellor or is it signed by just the lecturer? Or? Yes. So no, not a le lecturer. So the chancellor or whoever is in charge of the proficiency will sign, but not mm -hmm. necessarily the lecturer. No, it's not the lecturer who will sign. 
So it's the chancellor of your university who does the sign it. Yes, and then, yes, then, yes, yes, please. So, so are they sending it to you or they're sending it to the QTS directly? Who does the letter? No, go to? they are sending it to you. Okay. They are sending it to for me, Kwa, I, 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 I called a friend to collect it mm. for me. Okay. So okay. she collected it and gave it to me. Okay. Okay. So then the statement of comparability, what, what was that mm -hmm. one thing? Yes. The statement of comparability, you are comparing your bachelor's degree to the standard of UK's bachelor's degree. So initially, UK on the UK website, they said mm -hmm. you have to provide a bachelor's degree, which is in level six, as verified mm -hmm. by UK ENIC. So I thought that in order for you to apply for the QTS, you have to apply for your statement of comparability before you can apply. So mm -hmm. after I did my application, I emailed CRA that I have statement of comparability, which compared my bachelor's degree to UK's bachelor's degree. So the assessor told me for them to award you a QTS, they have their own assessors that are assessing your degree. So they do not need any statement of comparability. I see. So that is it. I see. I see. So basically, no one needs to do that. You just submit your no. degree certificate and your transcripts, and they themselves will do the statement of comparability to see whether it's up to sure. the standard. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. So after that, you've done all of this. So you scan and then you upload this into the system, I suppose. Sure, sure. You scan okay. all of them on your phone, then mm. you just upload them. And this application will not even take you up to five minutes if you are a Ghanaian. It will not mm. even take you up to five minutes. It's just simple, simple questions they are asking for. Then you are mm. good to go. Mm. Wow, that is, that, is, that is interesting. And then when yeah. do you hear back from them? How long did it take to, to hear if you were? Yeah, I, I applied mine on 1st February when they opened the portal. Okay. So I didn't hear from them until on the 6th of April that wow. they sent me an email that um, they, they sent mails to my references mm. yes that is all so when i applied on the first february basically mm. one month getting to two months oh no mm. sorry that is two months after two months that yeah. i heard from them yeah okay. okay so they had to write to your to your referees to get the reference from them and who did you sure. use as a reference is that your lecturer someone from oh. the <laughs> Did they say oh, yes. <laughs> from 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 CRE, the references should be those you you are working with. That is your current and your previous work. So those you've worked with and those you are working with. So at mm -hmm. my current place, I use the colleague who is ahead of me. That mm -hmm. is the person I use. And mm -hmm. in my in my previous work, I also use the colleague. You know, okay. I didn't use my head teacher. No, mm -hmm. I used a mm -hmm. colleague. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's 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 interesting. And um, so when this when these people, well, of course, they, they didn't they didn't they didn't they didn't go through you. They went directly to your referees to ask for the reference, which I suppose they would have submitted. And then afterwards, that's when you heard. So so was it was it the reference that was delaying the 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 process, or that's just it took that long? Yeah, it just took that long. It, it, it's not the reference that to, took it long. Because, you know, when you submit your application, they mm. will check everything. You know, TRA, they are doing a marvelous work. Oh. They are <laughs> not just looking through that we, are, we, need, we need teachers. So everything that we will accept, do you get mm. it? Yeah. So they, they check through, through your transcripts, your, your certificates, and do a background check. You know, I forgot to say this. In mm. Ghana, they also request for your NTC number. We have mm -hmm. National Teaching Council in Ghana. They mm. award license in Ghana. For you to become mm. a professional teacher, you should mm. have your license just as this QTS. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. NTC award teachers license in Ghana. 
So mm -hmm. on um, in applying for these QTS, they will ask for the NTC license number. It's mm -hmm. an online portal. So they go there and check whether you are part of the professional teacher body in Ghana. Do you get it? Before mm -hmm. they proceed and send your referees the references to answer questions about you. I and see. the references to the questions, they are not questions that you are coming to provide a, a five paragraphs answers. No. It just the questions is just straightforward. Then the answers is yes or no. You just pick one. Mm. Yes or no. Did the person work at this place? Yes or no. You take one. Did the person mm. teach age 11 to somewhere 11 to 16? You take yes or no. That mm. is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not anything that serious. I see. I see. So and you... and when when the when the references send your your referees send your reference to TRE, it doesn't take long. My referees sent their re, um, response to TRE, and I, I and I got my response that congratulations, you've been awarded the QTS on the eleventh of April. That one mm -hmm. cry, I see between the days if not the easter holidays i think the 10th or 8th i should have received my qts but because of the easter holidays mm. my references got their message on the 6th of april so on the okay. 11th i was awarded the qts i see i see well that was very quick that was very yeah, very, quick. very very mm. quick and did they so did they have to verify um, like the school where you are teaching at, the, at that point in time, do you think that they, they requested for the school's no. details? They didn't. No, no, they didn't. They didn't. Okay.